as a lot of personal transformation or personal development um, work speaks about controlling your mind, controlling your thinking. And I speak extensively about thinking when I teach people to love themselves unconditionally. And there's a misunderstanding that often comes from that, and that is that if my thinking is the problem, then I have to learn to control my mind, to control my thinking. And that misunderstanding is that subtle difference between the art of being able to do this, this thing called life with ease and comfort and the difficulty of never being able to get it right. You see, it's not that we want better mind control, which is really difficult to get, maybe even impossible to get. It's that what we want is more freedom from the shenanigans of the mind, which means that even as the mind is doing its thing, we are not buying into it. We're free from that chatter, even as the chatter is happening. And in order to have that freedom, we have to know that just because my mind thought it up and it created a chemical experience in my body, which was an emotional response to that thinking up, that that doesn't make it real, that doesn't make it true, and there's nothing that I have to do about it. Freedom from the mind means that I know that the mind is just a chattering bunch of monkeys doing their thing, and I don't have to worry about that chattering bunch of monkeys. That when I choose to still myself, I'm not saying get into a space where you have no thinking, because that's nigh on impossible. When I choose to still myself, what I'm saying is get into a place where I'm not listening to the thinking that is of no purpose to me. Where I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm not fighting or engaging in or getting involved in the chatter. Instead, I'm just getting involved in being in my body, in this place, in this time, being present in this moment and allowing more inspiration to come to me. So it's not that we have to control the chatter of the mind that is impossible. But if we can just become more present and more still, we will find that the mind does present more useful stuff to us. And most importantly, that I don't have to buy all the chatter that the mind is trying to sell me and all the feeling that is coming with that. We don't have to control the mind. We need to be free from the mind. Have a beautiful day. Good luck with it.